What's going on guys, Mike the and Collector back here for another video. Today we're going to be looking at my WWE Battleground 2016 predictions. And the way it's going to work is I'm just going to show who I think is going to win on camera. Because, you know, I can. The first match we're going to be looking at is when the Miz defends his Intercontinental Championship against Darren Young. And obviously... I'm not going to make Darren Young get great again. I'm going with The Miz. The Miz has to retain this title. The Miz has been doing a phenomenal job as being the champion with Maurice. And Darren Young is just a joke. He should just... I don't even know. Maybe put back the primetime players. It doesn't matter what they do with Darren Young. Just not a fan of Darren Young. So, yeah. I got Miz on that one. The next match we're going to be looking at is when Rusev defends his United States title against Zack Ryder. And I'm just not a fan. I'm not a fan of Rusev, but you know he has to keep the U.S. belt. If Rusev does not keep the U.S. belt, they have been building him up like a monster this whole entire time since he beat Kalisto. And if he does not retain and just loses a Ryder, and then Ryder the next night loses to someone like Sheamus, because I think that's what they would do with Ryder if he did win the belt, anyways, like he did with the Intercontinental title. But Rusev needs to win. He's my pick to beat Ryder. They need Ryder to be with Mojo anyways now that Mojo get, got called up. Next match we're going to be looking at is... I'm not really looking at because I have none of the figures for it. So we're going to go over that now. Sasha Banks and Mystery Partner versus Charlotte and Dana Brooke. My prediction on who Sasha's going to get, obviously, is going to be Bailey. That's why she wasn't in the draft. In my opinion, people are mad that she wasn't in the draft. Don't worry. I think she's going to be the mystery partner, obviously. So, yeah, and that's my... And I picked them to win that match as well. Another match I don't have figures of is uh, Natalia versus Becky Lynch. I don't really care for this match. They're both... I like Becky Lynch more than Natalia. But... My pick is going to be Natalia anyways. Just because... When was Natalia's last win? Right? All right. Okay, next match we're looking at is when John Cena and Enzo and Cass faced the club. And in my opinion, John Cena is going to win. John Cena, Enzo, and Cass is going to win. Because since that money in the bank, Cena lost to AJ clean. Well, not clean, but technically he won clean because the referee didn't see it. So, you know. But yeah, I got Cena and to win this matchup because Styles beat him at money in the bank and Cena... You know, that's usually how it is. Opponent wins first match, Cena wins next, Cena wins the one after that, and buries him. But yeah, and then they'll have another match at SummerSlam between him and Styles. And yeah. Next match we're going to be looking at is when Sami Zayn takes on Kevin Owens. My pick for this match has to be Sami Zayn. Uh, the reason I picked Sami Zayn for this matchup is just like the Cena one. At last time him and Owens had a one-on-one -on -one match on pay-per-view. Owens won it payback, I think. Yeah, payback. And at Money in the Bank, Sami Zayn and him were in the Money in the Bank match. So now I think they're going to have another match at Battleground. And they're, they're going to, Sami's going to win. Then at SummerSlam, they're going to have like a two out of three falls match, last man standing match, Extreme Rules match, something like that. And then and we're just going to have to watch my prediction video for SummerSlam to see who I think is going to win the last match. But. Yeah, Sami Zayn, pick for that match. Okay, it doesn't matter. Screw you, Sami Zayn. The next match we're going to talk about... Let me just put Sami Zayn back up here. Next match we're going to be talking about is when the Wyatt family take on the New Day. And if WWE doesn't book this right... Bray Wyatt has to win. Bray Wyatt and the Wyatt family have to win this match. If they don't, consider Wyatt family just done. They can't do anything else with them. Just retire them. Because Bray, if Bray Wyatt and the Wyatt family do not win this matchup, I don't know what to say to WWE. You're not just... If they don't win, it's terrible. They have to win. If they don't win, it's going to be really sad and disappointing. Because big fan of Bray Wyatt. I, I don't give a crap about Eric Rowan, but Bray Wyatt and needs to win this match, and now he's got split from the Wyatt family on SmackDown, except for Eric Rowan, 
you know, yeah. Next mat, well, next segment we're going to talk about is Chris Jericho's highlight reel with the returning Randy Orton. Uh, my prediction for this is, I don't know exactly if Brock Lesnar is suspended by WWE. My prediction is, like in the middle of the highlight reel, Brock Lesnar's music's going to hit. Or like, no, no. Like, Orton's talking, and then Paul Heyman comes out, and like, and like, starts talking to Orton, saying Brock's not there, and then Brock comes out, and beats up Orton, and leads up to the match at SummerSlam. It would just be cool to lead up to SummerSlam and everything. So, that's my prediction for that. There's not really much to predict on it. Well, it's gonna be a cool segment and all, but... Okay. And now, I think this is the main event. I'm pretty sure it is. When we see... Seth the man, Seth Rollins, take on the WWE Champion, Dean Ambrose, and they take on, or, you know what I'm saying, you, you, if you if you don't understand, then I don't know what to tell you, uh, the Divas Champion, Roman Reigns, uh, yeah, for WWE Championship. This should be a good match. It should be. I don't think Roman should be in it. I think they should, you know, just not knock him out. Because, uh, yeah, he's eliminated from the match. I, he's eliminated from the match for me. I don't give a crap about Roman Reigns. He hasn't been for the build or anything like that. So I'm just trying to decide between these two. Big fan of Ambrose. Uh, but since on the past Monday and SmackDown Live, Ambrose has beat Rollins. Well, yeah, he technically won. He, or on Monday it was a draw, blah, blah, blah. Ambrose has retained the championship both times. So I just think they're going to have to give the championship to Seth Rollins. Uh, I like Rollins. I'm not complaining or anything. I'm just sad for Ambrose because he's not going to retain the title once on pay-per-view. That sucks for him, right? That's my opinion. But... Yeah, so I say crown Rollins the champion. Sorry, Ambrose, and I don't care about you, Roman. But it should be a good match, good main event. The show is pretty, I guess, solid, you know. I don't, I don't care about Natalia and Becky Lynch. I hardly care about Miz and Darren Young. Rusev and Ryder should be an okay match. I'm excited for Zayn and Owens. I'm excited for the Wyatt Family New Day. I'm excited for the main event. I'm kind of excited, actually, for the highlight reel, too. Just pretty pretty, you know, but yeah, my question is, is Finn Balor gonna show up, um, uh, I don't know where he would fit into this, I think with the club maybe, and Cena, but, all the draft picks up to Monday Night Raw, will any of them show up, I mean, any draft picks from NXT show up, that were made, or, will any of them show up at Battleground, I don't know, we're just gonna have to wait, wait and see. So, I want to thank you guys for watching this map, not map, video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, this was my WWE Battleground 2016 predictions. Please like this video, subscribe, comment down below what video I should do next, and peace out.